Dividing both sides by x cube, the given differential equation can be written as dy upon dx is equal to y cube plus y square times square root of y square minus x square divided by x cube. Now put y is equal to vx. Take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. We get dy upon dx is equal to v plus x times dv upon dx. Using this, the differential equation becomes v plus x times dv upon dx is equal to v cube x cube plus v square x square times square root of v square x square minus x square divided by x cube. x cube cancels across the numerator and the denominator and the right hand side simplifies to v cube plus v square times square root of v square minus 1. Subtracting v from both sides, the differential equation becomes x times dv upon dx is equal to v cube plus v square times square root of v square minus 1 minus v, which can also be written as v times in brackets v square minus 1 plus v square times square root of v square minus 1, which is equal to v times square root of v square minus 1 times in brackets square root of v square minus 1 plus v. Now separating the variables, we get dv upon v times square root of v square minus 1 times in brackets square root of v square minus 1 plus v is equal to dx upon x. Now on the left hand side, multiplying in the numerator and in the denominator with v minus square root of v square minus 1, we get v minus square root of v square minus 1 divided by v times root of v square minus 1 multiplied by in brackets v plus square root of v square minus 1 multiplied by v minus square root of v square minus 1 is equal to dx upon x. Now in the denominator on the left hand side v plus root of v square minus 1 times v minus root of v square minus 1 is equal to v square minus root of v square minus 1 whole square, which is equal to v square minus, in brackets, v square minus 1, which simplifies to 1. Therefore, the given differential equation simplifies to v minus root of v square minus 1 divided by v times root of v square minus 1 dv is equal to dx upon x. This can be written as 1 upon root of v square minus 1 minus 1 upon v dv is equal to dx upon x. Now integrate both sides and introduce a constant of integration, say ln c on the right hand side. The right hand side becomes ln x plus ln c, which is equal to ln cx. Therefore, we get ln cx is equal to ln of v plus root of v square minus 1 minus ln v, which is equal to ln of v plus root of v square minus 1 divided by v. This implies that cx is equal to v plus root of v square minus 1 upon v. Cross multiplying, we get cxv is equal to v plus root of v square minus 1. Now replace v with y upon x, we get cy is equal to y upon x plus square root of y square upon x square minus 1, which is equal to y upon x plus 1 upon x times square root of y square minus x square. Now multiplying both sides with x, we get cxy is equal to y plus root of y square minus x square which is the required solution to the given differential equation.